Welcome to IGM Guru. IGM Guru is one of the global leading online training and certification provider for IT expert by the skilled IT gurus to help them achieve their professional goals. When you are creating a when you are creating a generative AI model. So when we are creating a generative AI model, so we are calling it as a large language model or we are calling it as a LLM. Okay. So if you see these things like uh, you also have seen in the market like chat GPT, which is again a behind the scene, a, a LLM models with the name of GPT-3. We also have a model with, with the name of GPT-4. Then we have Lambda. Then we have L Lambda. Then we have Alepka, Google Flan, Falcon LLM. So we will discuss all these things. If we discuss about that, what we have, uh, what is this LLM architectures? So behind the scene, if you remember in the last lecture, I discussed about the transformers. So what we have in this LLM fundamentals, what we have in this LLM models, a large language model is a, is a kind of a, a AI algorithms, or you can say that it is a kind of a neural network technique, which have lot of parameter to process and create a such an intelligent system which can understand the human language or text using self-supervised learning. Till now maybe you heard about the supervised, unsupervised. The technique that we are using is the self-supervised and what kind of a operation or what kind of a task that we can implement using the LLM is the text generation. You have seen that in the chat GPT, chat GPT is a text generation tool based on the input, it generate a output, which is your response. It can perform the summary writing, image generation from the text we have seen in the Bing. Then we have the generate the code. We also have a tool which can generate the code for us. We can create the chatbots or conversational AI, we call it as a conversational AI. So all these are the your large language models. So large language model is nothing but a kind of a neural network complex models which train or which has lot of parameters. If I talk about the few parameters for the few models, so if you on the left hand side, you will see that uh, on the left hand side, you can see that in the, in the 2018, first GPT was introduced, which contained the 170 million parameter. And it is trained on the 985 million words. So Large language model is just normally comes under the NLP processing, which use the deep learning based models like transformers. If you see these things, one of the architecture, the architecture which is used in the LLM models is the transformers. So transformers we already have discussed. In the last lecture, we have discussed the transformers. And if you see the journey of this uh, LLM model, so in the 2018, we formally get one LLM models, which uh, which is the GPT-1. Then in the next year, we got GPT-2, which was 1.5 million parameters. Then we got in the 2020, we got the GPT-3, which was containing the 175 billion parameters. If you see these things, the way the way that parameter are increasing is from 170 million to 1.5 billion and from 1.5 billion to 175 billion. It is a very exponentially increase. And now if we talk about the GPT-4 
and GPT-4 is already released in the 2023 and we they are calling it as a it, it contains the trillions of parameters if you see the if you see the 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 architecture if you see the complexity of the model you can see that within the five year within the five year the progress of the llm is is very very exponentially increased and if i talk about the complexity the complexity is also increased from 170 million parameter to trillion of parameters and now the question comes that can, did you any ever imagine that how this training is possible how we can train a model having trillions of parameter if you remember your machine learning uh, if you remember your machine learning parameters or if you remember your deep learning let's take about some bit more complex if you remember your image classifications if you remember your a GRU application, they contain only 1 lakh, 2 lakh or 100,000 parameter. But now within the 5 to 6 year, you can see that your parameter is, is exponentially increased. So can you, can you imagine that why, how this, how is possible, how the training is possible for, for this trillions of parameter? Any idea how they train on such a huge parameters? Maybe they would have uh, trained on uh, like parallel uh, GPUs uh, yes. or maybe. Yes. So one is the parallel GPU concept that we have. And another thing is maybe like you yeah. heard about the quantum computers. Right. Have you heard about the quantum computers guys? Yes. Yes. Uh, so nowadays, if you see that Google is also have their own quantum computers, which can perform the calculation. If you perform this calculation with a computer, it will take the, or a CPU based machine, it will take the 46 year. If you perform a calculation, uh, Google did some experiment on this quantum computer. So they mentioned that if a human performed the calculation on the laptop, it took 46 years. And if we perform the same calculation using the quantum computer, it take three seconds. So this quantum computers is also plays a very important role to train such a huge models. So if you see this, if you see the, uh, if you see the flow of the how this uh, models came in the market, you can see that 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 uh, the initial performance of the AI system. So we what we do is we set up a human performance benchmark at a zero. So we set a human performance benchmark at zero. And uh, if I talk about the AI stuff, if I talk about the AI, which was in around 1960, my AI machine was not a, that much good, or even like it was not used in the real time applications. And if you talk about the, the score, the score was minus 100. And I'm calling it as a zero, as a human score, human performance is a zero, and it was uh, is the, in the negative hundred. Then slowly, slowly, we start using the building up the algorithms. We have intelligent algorithm. Then slowly, slowly, we got the deep learning models, and then you can see that over the period of time, the machine score start increasing, and if we talk about the the main the golden era of this ai which start from the 2017 when actual transformers come in the picture the transformer architectures we already have seen in the last lecture guys so i'm not deep going in the deep of these things we already have seen the benefit of the transformers 
that we can do the parallel processing. Earlier, we are only focusing on the sequential processing, passing the data, but now with the help of the parallel processing, with the help of the parallel processing, we can train the model on a huge data. And then after that, now if we talk about the recent models which is available in the market, their performance is, is better than the human performance. If you see these things, now the score is almost plus 20, means that they have, they have crossed the human performance. If you see these things, nowadays all the LLM models in terms of the data, uh, data documentation, uh, document summarization, translation, all these kind of state of art models has covered the, has crossed the human. So this is what I mentioned that, what was the first language model? The first language model which came in the picture or which caught the people attention was the GPT. GPT was a generative pre-trained transformers which is developed by the OpenAI in the 2018. This is like uh, the GPT family and the well-known GPT is, uh, chat GPT is nothing but the your, your model which is the GPT 3.5. So ChatGPT was trained on the 117 million parameters and then after that nowadays we have the ChatGPT which contains the very huge parameters. Thanks for watching the video. For full course, please visit www.igmguru.com and enroll today.